Hey guys, uh, right now I'm doing a video on my 3D printed yo-yo. I've never shown this to you guys yet, uh, uh, because I just finished it like a few days ago, actually yesterday, and um, it's pretty nice. No, I do not have a 3D printer or a program that's expensive where you can model this, but um, I... Uh, I printed it at school. I modeled it at school. Because the computers there have, uh, this program called Autodesk. And it's like a program where you can design and model stuff. So, uh, this is it. Uh, it took me like a week or two to model it. Because it was pretty hard because I was just learning how to use Auto Autodesk. It's a 3D modeling software. Cost a lot. I don't even know how my school could afford it. So this is it. It's just plastic. And it's 50% um, solid. So there's a light right here. If it was 10% solid, which it defaults to when you print it, um, you could see through it a little bit. So um, yeah, let me show you the other design. So yeah. Okay, guys, so this is the other side of the yo-yo, and it's, um, it's pretty good, but it's only, like, it's super, super light, lighter than one of those sides, um, so I had to reprint this one heavier, 50% density instead of 10%, um, this one is actually, um, I had to reprint this one also to redesign the hole to make that bigger because, um, it's actually, um, not, uh, like, this wasn't big enough, this hole in the middle, to fit, um, that side. So, I had to reprint that one. See those, like, hexagon things? You can kind of see them. Um, see those, like, hexagon things right there? You can kind of see them. That's how hollow it is. You can see it right there. It's pretty hollow. And, yeah, I based it off of this diagram except I didn't put it's a C sized bearing right there but I didn't actually put a bearing in this um it's just a cool normal yo-yo I might redesign another one which I'll show you guys if I do um to actually have bearing in it so um like I said before this 50% density so this way heavier and this is 10% defaults to 10% so this is it. Uh, I'll see you when I take the string off. Okay, so I took the string off, as you can see there. And see, it isn't an actual bearing. It's just plastic. It is full-on responsive. So I like it how it is. It's, um, I might have said before I was going to engrave my name on it, but it kind of failed. Kind of see it right there. But it failed, but, um, uh, my name failed. I was going to extrude it in, which means, like, pop my name in, but it failed. So, yeah, uh, that's it. I just super glued these two sides together. This is just an extra model. And, okay, I'll see you guys when I'm actually using it. Unresponsive, responsive, as you can see. Make it at a different angle so you can see it like that. It works fine for a uh, responsive yo yo. I might put a bearing in it. So, it works actually pretty well for a responsive yo yo. It can sleep for a little bit, like, see that? And uh, it can sleep for like one second, but it's not like it. <laughs> but um, I like it how it is. It's pretty cool. And um, I mean, for being 3D printed. I like it. You can do some other tricks like the forward toss. And you can do some looping tricks on it with this. Okay, thank you guys for watching. This has been my 3D yo yo, 3D printed yo yo. And I will see you later. So thank you for watching and bye.